Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about my Java reputation limiting. On the previous slide or video, we already know about how to do my Java auto sound and what look like not more my Java in echo already. So what is my Java regurgitation? My Java regurgitation, also known as my Java insufficiency or my Java incompetent, is a vowel party that describe leaking of the my Java during system that cause blood to flow in the reverse direction from the left ventricle into the left atrium. So now we are going to review about how it look like the not more my trauma in term of the echo. So in the parastenal view, in the systole, black plates are closed and cordy are barely visible. In the image A, B, in just all, black plates are open. So what we can see is anterior clearly anterior mitral valve flat and posterior mitral valve left flat. On the M mode we can identify the anterior mitral valve left leg look like M and posterior mitral valve left leg look like W. Mitral left leg motion during one cardiac cycle is labeled as A to E and F. No, left leg close line C to D line is in systole is straight and toward the interventricular septum. In parastenal short axis view, in the image A, at the level of mitral valve, so anterior mitral valve left leg and posterior mitral valve left leg, anterior anterior lateral and posterior medial. In the image, we at the level of papillary muscle. So, anterior lateral papillary muscle and posterior major papillary muscle. So something in the right side we call anterior 
the something at the left side we call posterior. So this is the public cup for chamber view in the McNeil in Jarstow. My travel left leg are open. Anterior my travel left leg and posterior my travel left leg. So it soon arrow indicated. So something in the so the left leg in the Left side, we call anterior, and left side in the right side, we call posterior. In the four chamber view, apical four chamber view. But in the B, in systole, left side are closed. Coaptation line, of left leg and uh, at left ventricle side of mitral annular plan arrow. Mitral Again, my travel in the four chamber view in just so the lamina flow from left atrium to left ventricle in the MHA and in the MHB, so spectral Doppler of my inflow at the level of left leg tip, showing the earlier rapid feeling. E and late feeling after atrial contraction A. This is apical three chamber view, so mitral left leg in the MHA. So something in the right side we call posterior left leg, in the left side we call the anterior left leg. In the image B, apical two chamber view, showing the level of left leg co-optation and mitral annulus arrow. This is the CT scan of the mitral valve, so the image A is constructed short axis view on face view, so each mitral valve left scalp A1 to A2, A3, then P1 to P3. In lateral portion, portion of the mitral annulus, LAA and LCH are shown, and the entry portion aorta is seen. These landmarks are used for perform reconstruction in the amplitude of the mitral valve B, recon B image, so reconstructed three. Chamber view, sagittal view.
so uh, so we enter it like that and post it like that oh my drama fibrous continuity and arrow is identified between aorta and anterior mitral wall left side. See this image. So the reconstructed two chamber view, coronal view of mitral wall. Showing, showing left left at the arrow, quarter. Then the near dot it arrow and popular muscle streak a streak posterior left that my bar is divided into p1 but p2 middle p3 media scalp ray press uh, respectively Opposing segment of anterior left name A2, A1, A2, and A3 color, respectively. Epidemiology of mitral regurgitation. According to one study of the United States of the America, mitral Mitral regurgitation affect approximately around 2% of all other. Furthermore, the prevalence of mitral regurgitation increased with age. Presentation is dependent on whether the mitral disease represents acute or chronic regurgitation. The inacute mitral regurgitation Present with signs and symptoms of actually compensated congestive heart failure. Depending on the severity of the equitation, there may be a progression into cardiogenic shock. In chronic mitral equitation, there may be relative compensation with limited signs and symptoms. However, these patients tend to be very sensitive to small change in intravascular volume and prone to cardiac failure. Clinical summation classically reveal a volume low lead thrusting a peg with an a pan systolic or hollow systolic murmur that is heard on by Pracodial auscultation. The murmur may adjust to the left axilla in posterior left heart disease or the back in the anterior left heart disease. HLG mitral regurgitation can be caused by damage to any of the mitral left heart, the annulus. We call it tendinia, the papillary the muscle, and the subject of myocardium. So to be, to be caused, the cause of mitral regurgitation are protein. And as such, there is no single group of patients who are, who are affected. Mitral regurgitation can be divided into acute and chronic form, which have different Etiology and imaging feature. Furthermore, cause and mechanism can be defined to primary cause, for example, degenerative and secondary cause, which functional. So the etiology include in the acute mitral regurgitation, myocardial infarct, the papillary muscle rupture. Infective endocarditis, poor day, ten year rupture, prothetic mitral dysfunction, and trauma. Chronic recuperation. 
can be caused by an underlying calcification, make sure mother's degeneration, previous infective or inflammatory illness, like rheumatoid heart disease, infective neurodigitative connective tissue disease, congenital valvular malformation, dilating cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic absorptive cardiomyopathy. Implant radiograph. We can find the left atrium enlarged. So we can find upper zone venous enlarged due to pulmonary venous hypertension. Left ventricle enlarged is also eventually present due to volume load. Feature of congestive heart failure may be also present. In acute mitral regurgitation, pulmonary edema is often seen. Occasionally, it may be unilateral pulmonary edema, sometimes localized to the right upper lobe, very rare to the left upper lobe. In acute mitral regurgitation, radiograph sign of left atrial enlarge are often absent. So this is first X-ray, chest X-ray of the six years old female. Previous known previous childhood aromatic fever. So the chest X-ray so left atrial enlarged, evident by double contour on the right. Split carina and enlarge left atria. How recall the heart is also generally enlarged uh, as a uh, pulmonary venous, particularly in the right upper zone. The second case of the 20 years of female non rheumatic heart disease with short or breast. So the chest is red also so the ball margin of the right hand. On the lateral view, so the left atrial enlargement and so the sign of walking man because of display of the Main bronchus. The third case of chest radiograph of the six years old male, new onset murmur with concern of cardiac pulmonary edema, right upper lobe, ground glass, alveolar opacity, and air, bongo ground sign, unilateral pulmonary disease, the case of uni. In lateral pulmonary edema, different diagnoses include blood, pus, oral, and protein. This is the case of 75 years old man, pre-operative chest radiograph for mitral valve replacement and tricuspid valve recurve. So the image so about it. Case of pulmonary edema. So the cardiomegaly, left atrial enlargement as suggested by spray, carina, 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 double, right half border, straightening of the left half border consists with the story of mitral varicification, small right side, left border infusion, curly, B line indicate interstitial pulmonary edema. Case of 80 years of female, non case heart failure, so chest radiograph so significant cardiac history with peering edema, peripheral, status post, theanotomy, and Mitral valve regurgitation, pacemaker, 
you can see Gajo Megali with splaying of the sub cardinal angle in keeping with left atrial enlargement, double right hand border, minor right mid zone linear atletasis, and right lung clear. This is a case of 30 years old male post emergency intubation, clinical as actual pulmonary edema, actual pulmonary edema, mitral varicubitation, and mycopolic sarcoidosis. Case. This is a years of female sub of breast on lying down. Girls cut geometrically with degrees sub carina angle, bilateral, CP angle, uh, costal plane angle are planted. So the image of my bilateral coral fusion. Echocardiography. In the malform, we can find the, the central jet has a wide less than 20% of left atrial area of less than 4 cm square. When I contract less than 0.3, no more minimal flow conversion. Recurrent volume less than 30 ml per bit. Recurrent traction less than 30 percent. Effective recurrent or refined area less than 2.2 cm square. In the moderate form, measurement are worse. Then my mitral body cricketation, but do not meet criteria for severe mitral body cricketation. In severe case, the central chair was, has a wide more than four, 40% of the left atria area and when a contractor more than 0.7 centimeter. So in Hardico, we also can identify large flow conversion, systolic was in former revine, we could contain Volume more than 60 ml per bit. Very quick fraction more than 50 percent. Effective recreation or required area more than 0 0.4 g centimeter square. So this image so about the mitral echo of the case of the 60 years old male, new onset murmur with concern for cardiac pulmonary edema, leucocytic blood blood and mitral regurgitation. On the image, on the left side, so the clear posterior left that and the image of 3D not really appreciate about the mitral validation. We just see a little bit color.
This is four years old female, so the onset is near with hypoxia. Trentorot 6 echogram demonstrate mild regulation respected by the blue and jet of blood direct from the lacrimal cord to the prolap of the posterior lablet of the mitral band. CT and MRI Kaja. In particular, Kaja MRI may be particularly useful for accurate measurement pertaining to the valve, interpretation, volume, and underlying etiology. Regurgitant volume of the mitral valve can be obtained by Subtracting the integral flow volume across the optic valve from either the volumetric measurement life and the cost of volume, the diastolic inflow across the mitral valve or the identified between left and Right. Ventricular, ventricular stroke volume obtained from the volumetric scene sign image. One study suggests the following threshold for cardiac MRI as a risk for progression to symptomatic mitral regurgitation and other indication for mitral valve replacement. So this image of a man who presented with chest discomfort. This image was Obtained in pre-operative CT. This is the CT image of the 77 years old female patient with degenerative mitral valve regurgitation. So, anterior left leg prolapse, mitral valve left leg. Sickening and calcification and my driver under lack of calcification. A and B. This is the MRI image in the Three chamber view, long axis view. So we see the chat clearly seen. This is the image about the visual eye of the A1, A2, P2 scallop demonstrating early systolic of the P2 scallop. Resulting in the mitral repetition chair directed toward the major in interatrial septum which settled in the mid sister and led systolic posteriorly directed 
of our chat can be appreciated as the result of a two product. Thank you.